Citrix Zen Desktop FlexCast provides many ways to deliver applications and desktops virtually, including hosted shared applications, hosted shared desktops, streamed applications, streamed OSs, local VMs, VM hosted apps, and of course, VDI. The purpose of this presentation is to help you understand all the different ways you can leverage Zen Desktop FlexCast. Zen Desktop Hosted Shared Applications is the concept of running applications that are actually installed in a server, on, in a data center, that are running back on the server, however, are delivered to any endpoint device over a presentation layer protocol so that the end user experience is that the application appears to be running locally in front of the user on their device no matter where they're at, but in reality of it is, the application is still back in the data center, nice and safe where IT can manage it and protect it. One way you might consider using hosted shared applications is to deliver applications from the server to an older PC. In this case, I'm taking a 10-year-old PC and I'm delivering the applications over presentation layer protocol to the user. The thing is, the user doesn't really have to know the difference. As far as the user is concerned, the applications are all running locally on their PC. They don't know what's all happening back in the data center. You could also consider using hosted shared applications this way. Deliver applications from the data center to the endpoint. In this case, the endpoint is a thin client. So I'm logged into a Windows embedded thin client and the applications are up on the screen. Uh, I have the ability to go out, launch the application, and the application shows up running locally for me, for the user. Uh, however, it's all happening back in the data center. So as you can see, I have multiple applications running on my screen. Both of these applications are all happening back in the data center, but the user is able to access them and use them the way they always would. Another way you might consider using hosted shared applications is to deliver the applications from the server back in the data center to a laptop. In this case, I'm using a laptop that's roughly nine years old to deliver applications and for my user to leverage the applications. So as you can see, my application is now launching, coming up on the screen, and my user has the ability to leverage an application from the data center at this endpoint device and leverage the speed and performance that's back in the data center, even though the desktop or laptop that I'm using is nine years old. So delivering published applications to a laptop, uh, new or old, is a great thing. However, in a lot of cases, you can deliver published applications or hosted shared applications to a thin client laptop and not have to have the uh, manageability or the need to manage of a thick laptop PC. In this case, I'm delivering applications to a thin client laptop and running the applications from back in the data center using the presentation layer protocol. So from a user perspective, they still have the apps, they can still use it. From an IT perspective, I no longer have to manage this laptop that a user is carrying around all over the world. So as you probably already know, you can deliver applications to a PC or a laptop. But what about the world of tablets? Well, tablets are taking off fast. So Citrix has the ability to deliver applications to a tablet so that the application runs on the tablet the same way any other application would run on that tablet. Here's an example. Launch the uh, Citrix icon. My uh, applications pop up on the screen here. Click on the icon for the application. Now Word's gonna show up, be running on my screen like a locally running app. But the reality of it is, the Word application is technically running back in the data center where my IT staff can manage it but me as a user, I can still use it. And that's what it's all about. So you can't really talk about anywhere, any device, any time without talking about smartphones or smart devices. So with Citrix, you have the ability to deliver applications from the data center to any device, anywhere, anytime. For example, in this case, I'm using an iPhone and I'm gonna run a Windows-based application that's actually running back in the data center but being delivered to this endpoint device where I'm at, so I can just use it. Now, it's not just all about the iPhone. There's also a client, a receiver, for the Android OS. So in this case, I'm gonna run the exact same application, again, back in the data center, where I'm at, the time it is, so that I can just use this app and consume it while I'm out and about. So again, here's a Windows-based application running back in the data center, but because I have Citrix, I can leverage it right now where I'm at. So it's Android, iPhones, the one I always get, but what about the BlackBerry? So in this case, BlackBerry 2. You can run a Windows-based application from the data center to a BlackBerry no matter where you're at. 
Zen Desktop Application Streaming is the concept of packaging applications, placing those applications on a file server, and then delivering the application, whether it's uh, AppV or a Citrix profiled application, to a Windows endpoint device. But what about when it's not a Windows endpoint device? Well, that's where Citrix can help as well. So Citrix has the ability, Zen Desktop, to deliver the application to an application server, and then from the application server, deliver it to non-Windows devices over a presentation layer protocol, ICA. So Zen Desktop includes the ability to stream applications, both the Citrix profiled applications as well as the Microsoft AppV applications. Why is that important? Now I can take one version of my application, package it, let it live on a file server back in the data center, and I can deliver it to an endpoint device where it runs locally. I can deliver it to a VDI instance, a server-based desktop instance, a server-based published application instance. Not only can I just deliver that to a Windows endpoint, but because of Citrix and this ubiquitous layer there, I can deliver that to anything I need to. Tablets, smartphones, thin clients, doesn't matter. Let's take a look. So in this case, I'm clicking on my icon here, and it streams the application over to the local endpoint device, runs it locally, and then when I need to pick up my tablet and go somewhere, I can also run the same application, but that time it's going to be delivered from a Citrix server where the application was streamed to. Zen Desktop, hosted shared desktops, is the concept of delivering a server-based desktop with multiple users using it uh, to an endpoint device so that the user actually gets delivered over a presentation layer protocol their actual desktop user experience. That can be done from a server-based OS like 2008 R2, as well as a server-based OS like 2003. The user doesn't realize that they're actually using a server-based desktop back in the data center. Hosted shared desktops is the concept of running desktops back in the data center on a server-based OS and delivering that to the endpoint device so that from the user's perspective, it looks like they just have a locally running desktop. In this example, I'm taking a Dell GX1 from 1998, and what you're going to see on the screen is a loaded Windows 7 desktop experience. From the user's perspective, I've got Windows 7. From an IT's perspective, from the business perspective, I've just taken a 12-year-old machine and reused it 12 years later as a Windows 7 desktop. I can still run my applications. When I launch on an application, it launches from the server-based desktop. From the user's perspective, again, looks like it's running locally. Truthfully, running back in the data center. Do they have to really know? So one way you might consider using a hosted shared desktop model, again, where the server is providing the desktop OS to the endpoint device, is with a zero client thin client. So in this case, I'm going to take a Y Zenith, I'm going to power it on. It's going to be about five seconds before I'm up to a login screen. I'm going to log in on this little device, about three and a half megs of firmware on it, with a Citrus client baked into it, and I'm going to have a Windows 7 desktop. One of the nice things about this device is it's not really using any power, and if I need to replace an existing PC or something with this, I just have someone who really knows nothing about technology go out, set this down, plug it up, turn it on, and I'm ready to access the network. So when you're delivering your desktop, you don't have to worry about where you're working from. At this point in time, I'm sitting in front of the desk, and I'm able to work on my local virtualized desktop. In this case, it's a hosted shared server-based desktop. But what I just found out is that I'm late for a meeting, so I've got to go. Hold on, I'm going to take my desktop with me. So as you can see, I'm logging into the Citrix environment. Uh, my desktop is currently being delivered to me on my endpoint device. Now it's going to move over to my tablet, and I'm going to take this tablet with me to the meeting that I have to get to. Zen Desktop VDI allows IT to deliver client OSs from virtual machines running on a hypervisor, hypervisor back in the data center to any device on the LAN, across the internet, across the WAN. VM hosted apps give Citrix and Desktop the ability to deliver just the application from a VDI desktop session to any device. A tablet, for example, might want to leverage just the applications out of a VDI environment instead of the entire desktop. Of course, within Zen Desktop, you have the ability to run a VDI-based desktop. So basically what I'm talking about there is a desktop, a client-based OS desktop, so Windows XP, uh, Vista, Windows 7, that runs on a hypervisor that you're delivering to an endpoint device over a presentation layer protocol. 
any endpoint device, no matter where you're at, any time. Let's take a look. In this example, I've got my 12-year-old PC, uh, Windows 90, um, 12-year-old PC from 1998, uh, and I'm accessing a Windows 7 VDI-based desktop that's running back in the data center, but now I have all the speed and performance of a modern-day OS on a 12-year-old PC. Citrix Zen Desktop includes the concept of streaming VHD. What this means is we take a PC and we capture the hard drive from the PC into a virtual disk that lives out on the network. Then we can, at boot time, boot that same PC back from a virtual disk and actually take the disk out of the endpoint device. Now the thing about that is we can turn this into a read-only image and we can boot potentially thousands of machines all from the same virtual hard drive. What this does is it brings virtualization, desktop virtualization, to physical devices. So Citrix Zen Desktop includes the ability to stream an OS online through a Pixie boot or through some type of boot where it boots from a network hard drive. So in this case, I'm actually going to boot this device from a virtual, desk, a virtual hard drive out of the network. So this roughly 10-year-old device no longer has a hard drive in it, because I took a capture utility, captured the hard drive into a virtual disk. Now this machine and a thousand more just like it could all boot from it without ever having to have a hard drive actually installed into the box itself. So this machine currently is set up to do a Pixie boot. It uh, talks to the provisioning server, which tells it which virtual hard drive belongs to it based on its MAC address. And as you can see, I have a Windows XP desktop up, ready to run. No activity on the disk light. It's all done through virtualizing a physical device in a network boot. Zen Desktop creates a go to my PC alternative. What you can do is you can use Zen Desktop, drop the agent on your PC back in your cubicle, and then when you're not in the office, use your laptop, or your tablet, or your home PC to access your office PC from anywhere. So an alternative way to use Zen Desktop is to use the Zen Desktop agent on your PC in your cubicle to allow you to access that desktop from anywhere anywhere. Kind of sounds like go to my PC, right? Well, it's the same concept, uh, except this time we're using the Zen desktop infrastructure to access the PC back at your desk as opposed to a VDI instance. So in this example, I'm actually going to log into my Zen desktop environment and use the Zen desktop infrastructure to access my desktop sitting back in my cubicle uh, that I use every day, but I'm just not in the office now. So now I'm going to use it this way. Citrix Zen Desktop HDX3D gives you the ability to use blade-based PCs with GPUs in them to deliver a ultra-high user experience to a user on the LAN or on the internet. What this does is it uses the GPU to create super high compression and deliver desktops over two megabit or less connections so that users, medical professionals, engineers, scientists can actually use design applications from anywhere. HDX3D is an amazing technology within Zen Desktop that allows a user to access an engineering type of desktop from wherever they are on whatever device they're on. So what happens is you're actually running a desktop that's on a Blade PC with a GPU that allows it to use the GPU for extremely high compression ratios so that 3D design applications from anywhere is a reality. In this example, I'm going to log into my virtual desktop or my HDX3D desktop and I've got this 3D application that I can move around, interact with. So for a medical imaging example, I've also got this engineering application up and running where I'm actually going to be able to move this engineering application around and actually design um, 3D graphical um, designs. So Citrix Zen Desktop also includes a offline client-side hypervisor, also known as Zen Client. So in this demo, I'm going to show both my Windows 7 corporate desktop running on this single, single device, as well as simultaneously my personal uh, XP edition of my virtual desktop is on this endpoint device. What that means is corporate can give me access to a virtual machine that I can use, do what I need to, install my personal applications in so that when I take this thing on the road, I can still use it personally. However, what I can't do, because I don't have admin rights to it, is mess up this Windows 7 instance that the corporate office gave to me or pushed down to me so that I can still do my job and not have to worry about whatever I happen to do on the Windows XP instance. So again, a client-side hypervisor running on the endpoint device that allows me to have multiple desktops running simultaneously. And if I need to do backups of these things, 
I can do snapshots, uh, have it to where policies uh, depict when snapshots are gonna be taken and actually backed up to corporate. So if I happen to lose this device or it somehow gets damaged from a hardware perspective, I just point back to corporate and get my desktop back exactly the way it was last time it snapshotted itself. So as you've seen, Citrix Zen Desktop Flexcast provides a ton of different ways to deliver desktops and applications. Thanks for watching this video. Please let us know if any way how we can help you understand Zen Desktop Flexcast better.